Hi, and welcome to my Philippine journey again. Um, this, uh, this video here is just kind of brief on a little security for you for your internet and your inter wireless and your Wi-Fi. Um, my girlfriend was here a second time since my last video and for some reason I just got up and opened up the back windows and looked outside and one of the, one of the employees for the landlord was squat, squatting down outside my back window in the garden and he had his phone with him and I couldn't, couldn't imagine what he was doing out there. I thought he was smoking a cigarette so his boss didn't uh, catch yesterday him. Yesterday morning but I saw a guy and this was uh, maybe five days ago, six days ago and then yesterday morning I saw a guy hid, hiding behind some bushes. And then bushes. when I leave, have been leaving here lately, I've been seeing two or three of the locals sitting out in the street somewhat up close to my apartment. Well, if they're good enough, they can hack into your system and get, you know, personal identification numbers and bank accounts. And I mean, I don't think the locals here have got that kind of internet knowledge, but uh, let me tell you that they're, they're, I got real, real concerned and suspicious, so I went, did a simple Google search, uh, how to hack uh, PLDT Wi-Fi, and psh, right there, there's an app. You download it to an Android 3.1 or higher, and you can, it'll give you the tools to go in, you just, you find within range the PLDT Wi-Fi, and most of the stuff here is PLDT Wi-Fi. Uh, if you get a PLD Wi-Fi uh, service, then you're going to have a PLDT Wi-Fi router. So uh, what it does is it opens up the, the directory there. It looks for your router. It gives you the router name, PLDT Wi-Fi, and then there's four digits, I believe. There's a four-digit code after that, or five, and it and it tells the the the, the guy what what your your code is. Um, so it's a simple app. I downloaded it on my Android. I've got a 4.1. I downloaded it, but it asked for too many, too many uh, permissions. Uh, so and I didn't want to give give the app too many per permissions. They're looking for contacts and just all kinds of stuff. So I I stopped it. I took the app off my phone, deleted it, and ran a system clean on it. Uh, but I just want to let you guys know that the PLDT Wi-Fi's are hackable and it's very easy. Uh, Okay, I'm going to show you how to change the password in your PLDT modem. You go up to your bar up here for your search bar. You're going to type in 192.168.1.1. And then you're going to hit enter and it'll bring you into this screen here. It's your login screen. For your username, you're going to type in admin, A-D-M-I-N, P-L-D-T and then the password is going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine zero that is the default once you hit login you're going to have to wait a few minutes now what i'm going to be showing you here is you're not going to see the same screen on yours if you haven't changed your if you've got the default from pldt you haven't changed anything and your password is still the password that's on the bottom of the modem then you're going to, to need to disable the LAN. I'll show you how to do that on your first initial uh, try. Make sure you have a uh, uh, cable uh, connecting your modem to your PC or to your laptop because you're going to be turning off the uh, LAN and it won't work. So you've got to make sure you've got your computer and your laptop hardwired to your modem. It takes a minute to come to the next to the new screen. Okay, we're here. We're gonna hit setup. Hit setup up here. Then you're gonna go to WLAN. Okay, it's gonna take a minute, and it'll bring us our our screen. Okay, now that we're at our next screen. You, for the first time, if again, if your settings are original on your modem, if your password is the same on the bottom of your modem, uh, then you will need to disable this LAN device because you're taking because you're going to be changing it from the default. Now I've already changed my password, so I I don't want to click that. So I'm going to unclick that and now I can change it again for me but what you'll need to do I believe 
when you get your when you come to this screen this is going to be blank this is going to be blank this is going to be your original but I added nomadic on there that gives me that changes the, the this SSID number which is going to give me the opportunity to change the password on the next screen if you don't put a name out here behind your PLDT you won't be able to change your password so remember first time disable the LAN interface put your name in there and then you're going to come down here and hit apply changes now I want to show you something too you're going to get a box over here on the side you won't see it on this screen because I've taken taken it from default it will say change these settings forever you also want to click on this box you can't see it on my computer but it, it's here in the original default when you take it away from PLDT and you change it and go to your your name you're going to want to hit that box that says save forever that gives you the option and the ability to continually change your password if you need to so then we hit apply changes you're going to get a restart and a countdown okay we're back to our main page and my new name for the PLDT is on here so then we're going to go to security and again it takes a while for the new page to show up okay we're at our security page now and all of this is changeable uh, because we changed the name of the uh, router modem so you're able to come in here and type in a new password I'm not going to reveal what mine is but I typed in a whole new password in there but when I get through then I'm going to want to hit apply changes again down here in this, this button here in the bottom so once I hit that it's all done and I can exit the program and once you hit that you'll get your account down again so anytime I go want to change my password again let's say that somebody that I don't want somebody that I know I, I gave my password one time I need to change it again it's real simple to do it now okay well that's all there is to it and once it comes down it's going to come back to your screen and all you have to do is go back over to the corner, log out,